The High Road is dedicated to the men and women of the United States Armed Forces, past, present, and future. Meet Keith Warren. As a 30-year veteran of the outdoor industry and devoted conservationist, the original Texas angler and outdoor television icon has hunted across America and around the world. Showing you big game, educating outdoorsmen. Yeah, this is good. And uniting all hunters. I'll be signing autographs later tonight. I, I, I want one, I want one. <laughs> That's Keith Warren. And this is The High Road. Up here, some of the most awesome, rugged country God ever created. Where do you think I am? I'm on the South Island of New Zealand with Gary Herbert's New Zealand Hunting, and today we've got an adventure coming to you. Boy, is there, there's a stag way over there. See him come Yeah, out. I was just watching him. You know, at first glance, you look at it, and it doesn't look like there's hardly any cover. It's not cover. Give it a little chance. We're going to go walking through this soon. It's going to make a bit more sense. And we'll see how thick it really is. This week, I'm fortunate enough to be able to guide Keith Warren. We're going to go and try and see if we can't get him a big red stag out here in the big mountains. So we're going to put him through his paces here, get him up in the big mountains, get him up on the ridge, do a bit of spot and stalk, and burn a bit of gravy getting way up the top on those big mountains and see if we can't get him a big red stag. Oh, I see him, see him, see him. What do you think about that? <laughs> that right there was a heck of a hunt. I had no idea he was this big, Britt. Oh, look at that. I mean, he's got it all. Congratulations. This will be your red stag hunt. How's that sound? My gosh. Get it done. All right, y'all need to go slow <laughs> for this old guy. <laughs> the property we're going to be hunting on for Colton's hunt is quite a different property to where we hunted Keith's big stag. It's very, very challenging terrain. There's a lot more cover for the deer to hide. We're never going to get him now. Bugger it. <laughs> oh well, not to worry, mate. Doesn't always work out, I guess. Shot. Great shot. That was a good shot, Colton. Well, thanks, Brett. <laughs> well, I think after uh, three fouled stalks today, uh, we put in our work. Thank you, Brett. Oh, <laughs> we ended up with this good, great big 20 point red stag. Wow. Pretty good, pretty good day. You cannot go to a place that has finer service that is more committed to you, the customer, and make sure that you literally have the trip of a lifetime than Gary Herbert. If you're the kind of guy that wants to measure the success of a hunt with a tape measure, that's cool. But like I said, for me, I measure the success of a hunt with all different kinds of memories. And yes, I want a nice animal to take home, but it's the memory that counts. And right here on the South Island, New Zealand, trust me, you'll be making some memories. Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Gamo Precision Air Rifles. 
Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%. Keith Warren's Texas Hidden Springs Ranch, the best value in Texas trophy deer hunting. And Grave Digger Broadheads by No Limit Archery. Watch the High Road in HD at highroadhunting.com. What I'm shooting here is a 270 Savage, it's a lightweight hunter. It's a model 111. I've got it topped off with a BSA 3.5 to 10 power Majestic DX scope. The reason why I'm shooting the lightweight hunter is because I'm gonna be doing a ton of walking up here, of uh, big hills, mountains if you will, and by being able to shave off a couple of pounds by uh, losing the weight of the rifle, uh, really makes it a lot easier on a hiker. So this is the kind of hunt that it can be as strenuous as you want. And I like the real physical stuff. I like going out to them and, and working hard for them. And so I'm gonna shave off as much weight as I can. You take a look at the bolt, it's all shaved down here. The bottom of the stock has got some extra wood been removed. It's got a sporter barrel on it, very lightweight barrel. And this baby shoots, it's a tag driver. Let's go ahead and pop a cap or two and see how it does. You know, every trip I go on is special and this trip right here, it's really special. I mean, I'm on the most beautiful piece of property God ever created. I mean, this right here is a beautiful place. Well, here on the South Island of New Zealand, they've got something that's a little bit different. You can't hunt these special animals on the North Island that I know of, and it's the Himalayan tar. I mean, the tar is as tough an animal as God ever created. They live in the most badass country you could ever imagine. It is straight up and down. It is stuff that people die when they're hunting for tar because they make mistakes. I get to go hunting for tar, and this will be the second time I've done it. And some people that hunt for tar go, you know what? After they do it one time, they say they'll never do it again because maybe it's too scary or too challenging. But for me, if I'm gonna come to New Zealand, to the South Island, I'm gonna partake of the tar, regardless of how challenging it is. I just love the hunt. There are people that say you're out of your mind to want to go on a tar hunt. I'll tell you what, it is the most weird feeling because you realize, you know what, if you had to walk down from where they just put you, not only would it take you a long time, I don't know if you could do it. Hang on to your seat because you're gonna like this one. And the Himalayan tar was built like no other animal I've ever seen before. Always keep your eyes peeled, okay? Anywhere in these rocks, you see movement, make sure you tell me.
The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Reconix Game Cameras, Savage Arms, Record Rack, Nature Blinds, and Jardin Consumer Solutions, makers of the Game Saver. My name is Jim Krupke, I'm from Chicago, Illinois, and my wife and I came to New Zealand because we are trying to do some couples trips. I want to bring my wife to a really, really nice place and I want her to be involved in a hunt like this. We found that we felt like this was the best place here to come in New Zealand, period. Let me tell you about the lodge that Gary has built out here. It's world class. You cannot go to a place that has finer service that is more committed to you, the customer, to make sure that you literally have the trip of a lifetime than Gary Herbert. We like people to see the country, and that's important to us. And we want people to feel the mountain, feel the experience. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Right up in that snowy base. Yep. Two females. Here's the big one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Coming down here. My father's a great man. Okay. I got you. I gotta get my breath. For me, if a guy comes to New Zealand and doesn't hunt a tar, he's probably missed out on the most unique, exciting hunting adventure, not only in New Zealand, but also in the world. This is the time of year that they develop the real long manes. They're with the females, you've got a little bit of snow in the mountains, and it's a really good time of year to be hunting there. Alright. He's look 25 yards. Okay, he's looking to the left, right? Alright, here we go. When you're ready, go you take him. I got him. You want him? Yeah. Come on, buddy. Come on. What do you think of that? Woohoo! What do you think of that? Come on here. Woo! Come on. Welcome Woo! to the Alps of New Zealand, folks. Gary Hebert, and let me tell you what, he has got. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> we got a big old dead tar up there. I can see blood on the snow. We're shooting a 100, 130 grain bullet out of a 270, and this is the lightweight hunter. I can see blood right there on the snow. And this is amazing. These tar live in the most unbelievable rugged country ever, ever, ever. <laughs> All right, the good news is we can get to this bad boy. <laughs> All right, folks, it may take us a little bit to get up there. He's only about, what, 80 yards? Yeah. It may take a, a bit to get up there, but we're gonna show you what a big tar looks like. That's a good one, ain't it? That's a damn good one. <laughs> <laughs> Let's that right. See what we got. Yeah, buddy boy. Woo!
The High Road with Keith Warren is brought to you in part by Burt Coyotes, Luminock, and Lumineros. Shadow Hunter, your total comfort hunting blind. Elevators, your easy way up. Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%. And BSA Optics. Tannerite brand, binary exploding rifle targets, presents viewer feedback. Hey Keith, I'm an avid hunter and family man. Over the years I've struggled to find a place to take my family hunting where I can rest assured it's going to be a pleasant experience. Can you offer any suggestions on where I should turn? Sincerely, Wendell Jacobs. Wendell, that's a good question because there's a lot of camps out there that you just don't want to take your family to. I totally understand that. But I would encourage you, if you're, if you're looking for any place to take the family, look on my website, highroadhunting.com, and you will be able to find places that you can take your family, whether it's right here in New Zealand on the South Island with Gary Herbert, or whether it's my place that takes us Hidden Springs Ranch. My website has got great information for families. If you're looking for a family destination, go to highroadhunting.com and I think you'll be able to find enough information to be able to help you out. For me, if a guy comes to New Zealand and doesn't hunt a tar, he's probably missed out on the most unique, exciting hunting adventure, not only in New Zealand, but also in the world. What do you think of that? <laughs> Come on there. Woo! Come on. Welcome Woo! to the Alps of New Zealand, folks. I'm telling you what, I know you in the United States don't get to see these very often except on TV shows or unless you come to the South Island of New Zealand, but I'm telling you this right here is a daddy o tar. This is a big one. Now, Gary, tell them, I mean, the difference between a good one and a really good one is how much, tell them how big this one is. Looking at him, he's gonna be probably 14 inch, which is like really, really good, like a, a nice, a really nice representative would be about 11. So that gives you an idea where you are. Oh my gosh, and honest to goodness, I am not a trophy hunter. I, <laughs> I'm just a lucky hunter. Well, you're a trophy hunter today. <laughs> and look at the big mane on him. Oh, this that is... That is freaking amazing too, this, eh? this is beautiful. I mean, there's blood all over the snow, all the way up the mountain here. And this guy was made for TV. I mean, he was, he literally, he was made for TV. You know, he could have gone the other way. What do these guys eat? Well, they dig underneath the snow, see all this grass and yeah. stuff, and then they nibble on this. They eat a lot of the lichen off the rocks and... Uh, I thought maybe they ate rocks. <laughs> no. This yeah, guy... He is awesome, eh? I hit him... And he's really old, Keith. Like, he's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's ten and a half year old, so that is awesome. That's a monster. Yeah, well uh, done, mate. Okay. Well, Gary, set him up for some pictures. Yeah, we'll do that. But right now, folks, I want you to write, get a pencil and paper, write down this phone number. If you don't have pencil and paper, go to my website. We're going to have a, the whole show plan 24 7 on the website. Contact Gary. He's in the South Island down here in New Zealand. Give him a telephone number and a website 1 866 742 5378 or nzhuntingsafaris.com. And when you come down here, I mean, there's multiple species to hunt. It's just not tar or chamois or red stag. He's got like all kinds of stuff you can hunt in the prettiest country you can ever imagine, right here on the South Island of New Zealand. All right, let's go ahead and uh, get this guy propped up. Yep. Folks, don't go anywhere because 
We're gonna have a lot coming to you from the Alps of New Zealand. <laughs> God, dog, this one's awesome. I think what I've enjoyed this week hunting with Keith is his attitude in general. He just said to me, oh Gary, we want to come to New Zealand. We've heard a lot of good things about you and your place. And we just want an all round experience. Well that all round experience led into me shooting an exceptional stag, shooting an amazing tar, and just in general harvesting some really nice trophies. The High Road with Keith Warren has been brought to you in part by Diamond Down Thermal Gear, the world's most effective thermal apparel for hunting. Comal Taxidermy Studio of New Braunfels, Texas is proud to be the exclusive taxidermy studio for Keith Warren and The High Road.